I'm David Bell for KiwiConnection.nz. Hope is a precious commodity. There's a book called Paris Underground with the most remarkable message of hope, of courage, of sheer guts, of faith. It's about two women, one in her early 60s, an American widow. The other was in her early 40s, an English woman, amicably separated from her French husband. Together, they made a difference. Paris Underground is the true story of Kitty Boropo, name changed, and Etta Shiva. Together, they had a small, comfortable apartment in Paris, and in 1940, it became one of the key centres for smuggling English soldiers out of France back to England. Kitty and Etta were ordinary women, utterly unpretentious, and Etta wasn't particularly robust in health. Along with a Catholic priest, a farmer, and three or four other key network characters, they smuggled over 150 soldiers, airmen, and sailors out under the noses of the Gestapo in Paris. These two women did something that, by the most stringent standards, was extraordinary. And it was especially for Etta, done in fear and trembling, because of what might happen to her. Then, the unthinkable did happen. They were caught. And Etta was sentenced to three years in prison, and Kitty was given the death sentence. Soon, Etta was exchanged for a top female German spy in America, and when she got back home, wrote the book. And she wrote without knowing what had happened to her friend Kitty. Yet there isn't the tiniest hint of self-pity for what she or Kitty had endured. They proved hope is the very opposite of self-pity. Hope takes one beyond oneself. It turned out that Kitty did survive the war. Netta died in 1947. A truly remarkable story. I recommend it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share on YouTube. And thanks for watching.